Hey everyone, uh, this is Mwesu Gambuwa Bosco, the Literature Wisdom Center, that's Karumuna in uh, As usual, I'm your science teacher, and uh, today I've come that uh, we go on with our activities. Yes, so uh, this time, specifically, uh, we want to look at uh, revision activities, because we've been looking at different work, okay? Yes, so we want to handle revision, such that we see uh, that we update ourselves from the work we've been learning. So let us move on with our activities. Yes, so, but still remember in this work we're going to do, it's going to be a discussion together, yes? So yeah, make sure we get together when parts for you to answer, you answer them. The ones we go together, we answer together, such that at least we go to the end uh, when uh, uh, things are good. So let us start. Yes, as we move on, uh, we can see we are given, okay? Uh, we have uh, the first question where we are asked. Yes. Uh, so the first question says, the human circulatory system is made up of three main organs. Name them. Yeah, we looked at these organs last time that form the human circulatory system. We simply, yes, if you can remem remind ourselves, we talked of, uh, uh, okay, the heart. That's the first organ you can talk of there. This, uh, the heart, okay? You remember, we also talked of uh, blood vessels, okay? Blood vessels, blood vessels. And lastly, blood, okay? Yes, so from our discussion last time, we said that uh, the system of blood circulation, or simply uh, this circulatory system, is made up of three major organs, three important organs, which are uh, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. Yes, so when you ask, you can simply mention this. Uh, yes, so we, we went ahead looking at one by one in details. So as we go on with our activities, we'll be meeting, okay? Different questions about the heart, the human heart, about uh, blood vessels, and blood. Yes, so uh, we can push to next number in our activity, yes? Remember I say that uh, we are going to be discussing some numbers, we do them together, some of them we do them, as we move on. Yes, so look at number two here. Number two, we ask, state the main function of the heart, majorly the human heart here, because one of the, the three organs, so we asked about the human heart here, what's the function, okay? So this is a quick uh, is it for us? So we discussed last time about it. So please, can you check yourself? Yes? Find out what is the main function of the human heart. For in case you get any problem, yes, you can just send us a, 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 just a question you can ask, help you, okay? You can inquire, we shall find, help you, but you can find sources, check on internet. Even uh, from the first previous videos we are discussing, we are having, we discuss about the major function of the human heart. Yes, so you can answer this number. Uh, so we can now move to the next number. Yes, so as primary six members, you can find that, uh, yes, we have been discussing this, okay, from the first day as we move on. So it becomes quite easy for us to get together and we simply answer these questions. Yes, so uh, look at number three. We asked, the diagram below shows a human, uh, shows a human heart, okay? You can add here, shows a human heart. Yes, so we asked, we are asked, okay? Use it to answer questions that follow. Yes, so remember, we discussed about the human heart, where we talked of the main function to pump blood to all parts of the body. Uh, you find that, uh, uh, it is a uh, muscular pumping organ of the body. Yes, we talked of very important parts, issues of the heart, okay? Remember, we talked of the heart, that if you are to name parts of the heart, there are things which should guide you, okay? Yes, we talked of, uh, look at the sides, the parts, the sides of the heart. The, side, the heart can be divided into two parts or sides, okay? Uh, the left side and then the right side, okay? Simply we said, that uh, uh, your right side becomes left side of the heart. And your left, 
your, your left side becomes the right side of the heart. Yes, so simply, if you want to answer parts of the heart or anything here, first divide your heart properly. You can put here, divide this into two sides. Okay? You can have this side on our right becomes left. Okay? Uh huh. And then on our left becomes right on this side. So these are the two major sides of the heart. Okay? So these are going to guide us to answer this question uh, about the heart. So moving on still, here we said we can transfer this just to the, to the hand, your hand, and get these answers easily. So let us try this. Uh, as we try this, finding out uh, the, parts, the parts of the heart, simply, yes, we said last time that uh, you can easily answer parts Okay, of the heart, yes. Just using your palm, just using your palm, just using your palm, it can help you to answer the parts of the heart. Okay, so we can simply look at this just in a simple way. Good, yes, so this is our diagram we are looking at. Remember, we said, just your hand can help you to answer the parts of the heart. Can we try it? Yes, remember you have your trick here. Okay, so just turn your hand, okay? This is your palm, okay? So you can just check, okay? Do you see this, the behind part? Good. So using your left hand, okay? Uh -huh. Turn the back part of your hand. Do you see the shape of the heart? Yes. So for the other time when we discussed, we said that if you want to get just simply the part of the heart, just divide, okay, go to the hand, divide simply, okay, your hand into two sides, okay? That is the left side and the right side. Why do we call this left? Get back here. We said, that uh, the right side of the hand, your right side becomes left. So this is now our left, okay? And we said your left becomes right. So this is our right side, okay? With that kind of, uh, actually, idea, we said we have to move ahead now. Checking still, because the heart has got majorly four chambers, so we can get the four chambers from these sides, the left and right. So again, we divide now. Okay? Very good. So dividing like this gives you four rooms. Okay? So we can put here number one, chamber one, bring chamber two, bring here chamber three, and chamber four. So this is quite easy for us once we can make this. Because we say that this part down here representing the chambers of the heart and then the fingers will be representing blood vessels. So let us first simply handle the chambers only. So simply we say the upper chambers, okay, are called auricles, are simply referred to auricles or atria, okay? So you can say atria or oracle. So for this time, let us simply use the word oracle. Okay, so meaning the two chambers, number one and number two, they are simply called oracles. Okay? And then lower chambers, three and four are called ventricles. From our discussion last time, now, if upper, upper part are oracles and lower part are oracles, so if we say it's oracle number two, on which side? So if we say left, becomes left oracle. Number one is oracle. If it's on the right side, so it becomes right oracle. Coming the ventricles down, the same thing we apply also. If three and four, they are ventricles. Yes, check. Which side is this ventricle? Oh yes, it's now left ventricle because it's on our right side. So left ventricle. What about three? Will become now right ventricle. Okay. So we can try this and answer. So transferring this idea of the hand to the arm, 
we can simply see, okay, the heart is divided in two parts with the help of the part called septum. So, me, this is now represents our septum. So, on the left side of the heart of the septum, we have, we have, we have chambers there, and then on the right side. Now, from the hand, we can simply transfer this. Let us look at number one. We have this chamber here, this room here, can transfer call this number one, and for this number two, okay? Then chamber here, number three, and chamber here, number four. Do you see? So from the idea of the hand, okay, where is the shape of the hand, we can transfer this. So get here, number one. Number one is our part C. Do you see on the diagram? Okay? Uh, so when we, we asked, name the parts A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So we can answer number one already here. Where is our C? Yes, so part C. Now part C becomes the right oracle. So we can simply write here as uh, as a right oracle. Okay? Right oracle. Simple as that. Yes. So we have now properly answered part, uh, part C. So checking next number two. Number two, we said up part, there are oracles. Okay? The chambers up are oracles. So now, if two is or an oracle or atria, on which side? So if it's left, that's now part E. We can check how way is E, okay, is here. We can simply now write as left oracle. Okay? Left oracle or atria. Because we said we can refer them to oracles or atria. Okay, then now uh, let us check next chamber, chamber number three. Back to the heart. The shape of your hand can easily give you the heart. This is a trick we shall be using. Okay? Now, go to number three. Number three uh -huh, can refer to part B. Okay? So part B simply, okay, on our right side. And we say the lower parts, or lower chambers of the heart are simply referred to ventricles. We refer them to ventricles. Okay? Lower chambers are ventricles, and then the upper chambers are auricles. Uh, auricles or atria. Yeah, so we can easily have now B on right. So B simply, uh, yes, can get, a, get that answer. So what do you think would be B? Yes, if, if, if uh, this side, okay, is right side of the heart, and all the chambers down, are called ventricles. So what do you think will be? Number three, which is now our B. So you can now go on and answer B. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. We are remaining with one more chamber of the heart. That is simply part D. Back to our hand, part D on the hand, you can simply see that is number four here. And the lower chambers are ventricles. Okay? Then, if these lower chambers are ventricles, and then part D is on the left, so is it right or left ventricle? Please, you can st still answer part D. So part D here also, left for you to complete from that idea, okay? Uh, so getting back the shape of the, the shape of the hand, you can simply again see. So we have now answered the chambers of the heart. There are simply four chambers of the heart. I will have the right auricle, left auricle, the right ventricle, and then the left ventricle. Those are the four chambers of the heart. So the lower part of the hand is going to show us, or always representing the chambers. Then now we can still answer. You have other parts to answer. So you can now go to the next part. Look at the fingers. What are they representing now? We are using fingers to represent the blood vessels simply, okay? So here you can see there are four blood vessels. There are four major blood vessels. 
which are linked to the heart. There are very many, but for this case, we're looking at four major blood vessels that are linked to the heart. Yes. Uh-huh. So if you check this, what was last time? Please remember, don't forget this. This is your trick to use to name part of the heart. So, uh, yes, look at this finger. We can number fingers as one, two, three, four. Okay? So we say the finger number one, we can refer this to vena cava. It's going to carry blood from all parts of the body back to the heart. Okay? And then the second finger, we simply say last time, we refer this as to pulmonary artery, which is going to carry blood, okay, uh, right from the heart to the lungs. Blood without oxygen. Okay? To go to the lungs to get oxygen. Then it has to come back along finger number four. Okay? Which finger number four is also a blood vessel. And we simply said it's uh, the pulmonary vein carrying blood with oxygen back to the heart. Once it enters here with Oh, along from the vein, it has to move out of the heart to be pumped all parts of the body using the major blood vessel. Okay? That is iota. So remember, once you get this and you combine it with this, jump one finger. These are major blood vessels. Okay? Like here. This is vena cava, the major vein, iota, the major artery. Good. So we can transfer this idea to our diagram. Let us now check finger number one. It is now appearing here on our diagram as A. Do you see? So when we are asked what is part A, check part A, we say you talked of the finger number one to be vena cover, and then finger number two to be, uh, to ref be referred to pulmonary artery. Okay, and the finger number three, to be referred to iota, which is going to transport blood with oxygen to all parts of the body. And then lastly, finger number four, okay, representing a uh, pulmonary vein, which is carrying blood from lungs back to the heart. Do you see? Okay, so we can now simply answer. Let us check again. So we ask number one on this number, A, name part A. So part A, okay, our first finger here, which, is, which we refer to vena cava. So we can answer this, vena cava, okay? The major vein that carries blood from all parts of the body back to the heart. That's blood without oxygen. Then check on part B. Where is part B on our diagram? Oh, yes, part B we answered. We told you to answer that. Uh-huh, the yolk is for you. We have, uh, from this, let's go to the next part here, H. We asked H, yes, for part H is our second finger. What do we say this, remember? We have, the order is, uh-huh, vena cava, pulmonary artery, iota, pulmonary vein. Please, can we go together and do this together? Don't, don't need to forget this. Keep with this, please. Okay? You just simply see we have vena cava, we have pulmonary artery, have iota, and pulmonary vein, the last one, last four. Number four. So now number two finger transfer, that is H, part H. So part H, check where is H. Okay? That will be now the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. Okay. Yes. So we can, so from this idea, now we can ask what's remaining. We ask now. The next is finger number three. Transfer. One, two, three. Oh yes, that is part F. So check part F. Which vessel is this that carries blood from the heart? All oh, body parts. Okay. Yes, uh-huh, and then once you answer that, you will be asked to answer finger number four. That is part G, oh yes, part G. So you can ask, answer part G. So the parts which are remaining are left for you. You can simply 
use your hand and answer this. Please, as we move on, don't forget this trick. Yes, when you go back to school, when you go back or you meet any person or any question somebody asks about the human heart, just simply say, oh yes, everything is summarized here. Just on my hand. Okay? I expect every pupil in my class not forgetting this. Please, before you take a cup of tea, yes, yes, before you do anything, first or check this. Do this activity. You say, okay, I divide my hand, okay, in two sides, left and right. Then remember, your right side is the left. So that's what you're saying, the left. Then your left is now right. So we can say this side, our right is left. Then say our, right, our left is right. So left side, right side. Then divide another line down to have the four chambers. So lower chambers and upper chambers. What name is given the upper chambers of the heart? Simply the upper chambers are auricles or atria. The lower chambers are ventricles. And then, so these are now represent the four chambers of the heart. That is right auricle, left auricle. Okay? Right ventricle, left ventricle. Oh, yes. And the four fingers represent the blood vessels, which we say vena cava, uh, pulmonary artery, iota, pulmonary vein. So please never forget the trick for the human heart. Good. Yes. So we can now move to the next part. That is part B. So part B we are asked, what is the rate of the heartbeat in a normal adult person? So we talked about this, okay? Uh, just within a minute. How many times does the heart, does the heart beat? So please, you can answer this thing, okay? We discuss this. And then uh, we can now push to next number. As we go to next number, please remember, this is a discussion. We get together, okay? Always when you have a problem, it's okay, you can raise us, we'll help you and uh, you'll be able to answer every question about this work. So for this time, what we leave you to answer, please answer. Let right. us move together. So we go to part C. Part C we asked, what's the function of blood vessel F? Oh yes, now this takes back to, the, to, the, to our hand where we discussed. What's the blood vessel F? Okay, F, you can just count. F, check one, two, three. Oh, yes. Go back to the fingers. One, two, three. What is blood vessel number three? We said it is iota. So now, we can just check on what's the function of iota. When they ask you the function of the part, please first identify which part is that. So we have known now. F is now number three vessel, which is the iota. So, we simply know that iota carries oxygenated blood from the heart, all body parts, okay? So you can simply see, to carry or transport oxygenated blood uh, from the heart, okay, to all body parts. All body parts. Or simply, we can simply say to carry or okay, the blood from the heart. This has to be correct. Then, still, then we go to number, four, number D. We asked, what type of blood is carried by blood vessel A? Oh, we go back and check. Uh, where is A? Oh, yes, the first blood vessel. So, blood vessel number one. So remember, number one, okay, it carries, which is the, which is the, uh, which is the vena cava. Simply remember, this is the major, major vein, and all veins carry the oxygenated blood apart from pulmonary vein. So you can simply now say, the type of blood it carries, remember, we have two types of blood, okay? We have a blood with oxygen, which is called oxygenated blood, and then the one without oxygen, which is simply called the oxygenated blood. So for this case, you can now answer this. Which type of blood is carried by blood vessel A? You can answer that. 
Uh, going to part E, we asked, why is part, okay, why is part D of the heart thicker than part B? Why is part D of the heart thicker than part B? Yes, it's quite easy. Yeah, yes, it's quite easy. So for part, yes, B, check here on the diagram, our diagram. Our part B, where is part B? Yes, part B, this side, oh yes, the right ventricle. And then part D, the left ventricle, yes. So we are asked, why is part D thicker than part B? We discussed on this last time, and we said that for part D, or, or the left ventricle, or left ventricles have thicker walls, okay, uh, to resist pressure, to resist, to resist pressure, not so, or to persist pressure, high pressure of blood. Simply, one can say, because they pump blood to longer distances. Yes, so you can answer in two ways. One can say, uh, part B, blood vessel B is thicker than A because B pumps blood to longer distances, which requires high pressure. One can simply say, part B is thicker than part, part D is thicker than part B, okay, to resist, for, uh, to develop resistance to high pressure. So, let us say, okay, simply say, because uh, part B pumps blood, pumps blood, Okay, to longer distances, or oh, longer distance, to long distance, okay, or oh, yes, where well, we can simply say to resist high pressure, or oh, to resist, okay, or oh, to have persistence for high pressure, okay, or oh, to resist high pressure. Okay, yes, so remember uh, blood from the left side of the heart has to go to all parts of the, all, all parts of, of the body. This requires high pressure, but it can help them to be pushed, help them to be pushed to different, or to longer distances, okay, through the arteries. Uh, and that's why also we ask that why are arteries thicker than veins? Arteries transport blood to very long distance. From the boy, all from all from the heart to all body parts, to the liver, to the kidney, okay, to the brain, to all body organs. Yes. So we can now push to the next number. Where is number F? Okay. Uh, where is asking which uh, through which chamber does oxygenated blood enter the heart? Ah, let us check. Okay. Through which chamber does blood with oxygen enter the heart? Remember, uh, part A removes blood, brings blood without oxygen, okay? Then blood has to go to the lungs, through the primary artery, and then from there it comes back, okay? Oh, yes. And then along the primary vein, entering the heart. So which chamber is this? That is simply, okay, you can see the, yes. That's the left auricle, or left atrium, simply. Left auricle. Okay, left auricle. Yeah, you can see blood from the lungs gets back, okay, to the heart. That's blood with oxygen will enter the heart and be received by the left auricle or left atrium. Now we move to part F. We asked, from which part of the heart does blood go into the head last live or live last? Yeah, simply. Okay, you just look at this diagram here. So you can see, they are saying, because we say that blood has to go to all parts of the body, from the heart, along the iota. So iota will get this big blood from part D, which is the left ventricle. So that will be, blood will leave the heart last, that's the left ventricle, to go to all parts of the body. That's the head and other parts. So that will be left ventricle. Uh, next number, yes, we can answer this together. 
Uh, what, impo what important artery connects the heart to the lungs? Yes, oh, come back here. The heart to the lungs. Meaning from here, go from the heart, go into the lungs. So you can simply answer that. We discuss that. Check which blood vessel is this. Blood has to leave the heart to the lungs. So check. Vessel number two gives you, okay, the answer. Yo, so you can still answer that. And uh, yes, we move to the next number. Next number says, start the diagram below and answer questions that follow. So you're given a diagram. Simply is a summary, okay, of blood circulation. How blood moves around the body, okay? So uh, containing the big and small circulation. Remember, you have types of circulation, types of movement of how blood moves. Say they have small circulation and then a big circulation. So check here. On this diagram, we are given half here lungs, okay? Half here heart and then body. Yes, so we ch check here. Always to, shall we begin from the heart. So blood from the heart has to go to lungs. Need to see? So which blood vessel is that? Blood from the lung, from the heart, going to lungs, we have just discussed on our hand, okay, this finger. Then, still, blood from the lungs back to the heart, that's the part B. So now from the lungs back to the heart, finger number four, do we say this? So it becomes easy. Then next, uh, we have blood from the heart to the body. From the heart to all body parts or to other body parts. Which blood vessel is this? So we can answer part B. Coming to last part of this diagram, blood from all body parts back to the heart. Check. From all body parts back to the heart. Okay? Which vessel is this? Remember, the tricks we've been using Having all parts of the heart on the hand can help to answer. So from this guideline, you can easily now answer number A. So A we ask, name the blood vessels A, B, C, and D. So please, you can now answer this, okay? Answer this, and then that. Then the last part of our discussion, we asked, what's the difference between uh, big circulation and then small circulation. Okay? Yes. So we say defining this, looking at this, we said you can simply use a trick. Okay? Yes. If you want to easily answer defining big circulation, first have this. Okay? Have the arrangement. Okay? Like this. We say that uh, it is always H, H. So have arrangement. We can say arrangement A, have H. Okay? And H. Then arrangement B, have still H and H, okay? Remember, H is standing for the heart. Then in the big and small circulation, you have two important organs, okay? Yes. Uh, majorly, okay, we are going to use, we have lungs and then the heart. So we are missing L, okay? So when you bring L, you are reading lungs. So blood has to go to lungs. From lungs, it gets back to the heart, and then going to all body parts. So part B can give us now B, okay? For body, representing body to the lungs, and then from lungs back to the heart, from the heart to the body, all body parts. So this can help us define big circulation and then small circulation. So we said blood moving from, okay, from the heart, go to the lungs, then from the lungs back to the heart. Okay? This is simply a short distance. So we can simply refer to small circulation. Okay? Or the pulmonary circulation. So you simply say this is the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Okay? When we go to the next part, which is big circulation, because it has got to be, so blood moves from the heart Okay? To all body parts. Blood with oxygen. And then it has to come back to the heart from all body parts back to the heart. Yes. So this arrangement, H, B, H, simply representing big circulation. H, L, H, representing small circulation.
Oh, why? Lungs and body compare which is bigger. Of course, the body is bigger. Could lungs just part of the organs of the body? So now we, you can simply define. So from here, give us a difference, okay? By defining the two and combining by the and combining by while, simply you can say uh, small circulation is the movement of blood from the heart, the lungs, and back to the heart. While big circulation will be the movement of blood from the heart to all body parts and back to the heart. So please still answer this, okay, using this. So this is just a summary to help you to guide you, but then you need to answer writing the proper answer here by giving the definitions. And again, you can be asked to mention the two types of circulation, blood circulation. Simply you have the small circulation and then the big circulation. Yes, so uh, this part brings us to the end of our lesson today. And uh, uh, please, I need to remind you in this today's activity, we had a trick. Our trick, just the hand. So please, never forget this. In your free time, try this activity. Do it, name the chambers and the blood vessels, okay? By just using your left hand and turn behind. Oh, wow. This trick, keep it. You never fail to answer part of the heart. So this is actually good for us today. And uh, we can end here. But remind you to always watch BTN TV. We'll be getting different uh, activities because we're there every time. Uh, that's Monday to Friday to Saturday. Then you still uh, check on the YouTube. You'll be watching these videos. Uh, check on... Uh, we were web, our websites, you can easily have them for revision, okay? Yes, so this uh, can be the end of our lesson, and we thank you so much.